Rightio, so I've picked up a couple of kits off Doug Gray, Doug Gray Design and Drafting. Um, I picked up the Rotary Demagnetizer, they're not expensive kits, about 22 or 25 bucks, they're cheap, comes with all the, the magnets, all the bits and pieces you need, and a good set of build instructions too. I also picked up the machinist clamps. I seen um, Chris from One Guy Metalworks build these, and I don't have any small clamps. Um, I got just normal old G clamps, and um, I got two of these. I can't remember where I've had them for years. I don't know where I got them from, but they're too big in a lot of ways. They're a pain in the ass. So after I seen Chris making them. Um, can twist clamps if you want to call them that machinist clamps I thought I'm going to have a crack at these too so this is a pretty simple build I am um, four holes in here to hold the magnets this is for the plugs aluminium shaft it's got to be threaded just a pretty quick build this one so just going to get over to the lathe and get stuck into it. Okay, while I'm at the lathe, I'll just turn this down to 373 and put a 3.8.16 uh, thread on it as well while I'm here. I might put the holes in for the magnets and the very last I'll drill it up. Oh yeah, we've got a three quarter end mill up. This is, we're going to make the pockets for the magnets. I'm going to take this very, very slowly. I don't want it to grab it and rip it out. Screw everything up. So let's hope that don't happen. One done, that's 900 tower deep. I'm worrying about it weakening it and making it loose. You know, we just got to try it. If this fails, I'll make it out of aluminium. Okay, it still feels solid. Just got to give it a go, I think. Bit 
nervous on that one, I tell you. See, it has gone out around a little bit. Anyway. Well, this is going to be the plugs that hold the magnets in. It's about 767 there. Now I want to take it down to about 753. 767 down to 753. There's one, another three to go. Once these are in the in the block, then I can face them off once they're all mounted up. Didn't have much to spare there, did I? Okay, so I've got the magnets in. So there's two with the north pole facing upwards, two with the north pole facing downwards in opposite directions. So in the diagonal. So north. These are south facing upwards. So I'm going to go to the press now and press these in. Put this back in the vi in the in the low chuck and face these bungs off. And pretty it up. I think I need to go to the, the trouble of pressing these in. Just tap with these with these jiggy hammers. See how it ran a little bit we added in the vice and squashed the hole a touch. That was my thumb. There we go. So I can put that back in the vice in that lay chuck now and just gently face them all off. Anyway, put the stem back in where I can put it now. Just true this outside up to make it look better. Looking there like an old wonky donkey in a cock sock. what we ended up with. Now all we got to do is trial it. See if it works. I hope so. All up, I reckon I've spent no more than an hour making this. Very quick build. Quick and easy. Got a brand new Stanley screwdriver here, straight out of the box. Brand new. Got some swarf in the Cincinnati. magnetized and I can you can feel it it's 
it's definitely magnetized that's straight out of the box take it over to the mill drill and we'll do, see if this works the instructions say have this spinning and slowly withdraw it from there about eight inches past come back in under again do that three times should demagnetize it I've got this spinning at around 600 rpm Chips. It's not as bad. Nowhere near as bad. Give it a couple more runs. <laughs> So all the magnetism's gone. A little bit right on the very tip. That's it. It definitely works. Interesting. Yeah, and it's not before uh, over on the Cincinnati table, you could feel it wanting to draw into it. So, interesting. All right. Good, quick. Our project, pretty easy, pretty simple, cheap kit, grab on. Find what else I can do, magnetise now. Alright.